Oh hey boys and girls, I wonder what time it is today. What mod could we be playing? Could it possibly be the Millennium Dawn mod in the modern day world for Hearts of Iron 4? I mean, I'm not too sure. What is this crazy flag? I don't remember that in World War 2. And today, of course, we're playing the Vatican City because we hit 150,000 subscribers. Of course, we're still doing the 200k face reveal. So if you're new to the channel, you like the videos or, you know, you just want to see some more hearts flying memory feel free to subscribe now and get to see my ugly face at the end of the year good news everybody it's the year 2000 and bill clinton doesn't look like a zombie yet bad news is putin still hasn't aged a day oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy i wonder which country we're going to be playing us could it be one of those interesting countries in the world like niger no, because I'd probably get the, this video demonetized because it's too close to another word. Instead, we're going to be playing as a flea on Italy's back, and I'm sure this mod will have more depth to it than me just simply taking over all of Italy through one focus tree. It's a Vatican City! Stability! We won't need that where we're going, because you wacky Zane intellectual people in the comments think it would be absolutely insane and hilarious if the leader of the Catholic nation actually went Islamic. I, I know. Good news is it's quite easy to go Islamic in this mod because there's only one person living here and he can change his mind at, you know, whenever he really feels like it because he's the fucking Pope. According to this mod though, the Vatican City is the leader of technological advancement in the world with our four research lots. Of course, I'm not entirely sure how the Pope himself can do all of this other than God whispering in his ear. Hey, that light tank looks pretty good. Would be better though if we fixed it with a bigger gun. Oh, that's not very nice at all, is it, Mr. Putin? You can't just take over Chechnya. <laughs> God. Well, would you look at that? I called it. I must be a prophet from God himself. He whispering in my ear, telling me what's going to happen. Everybody, <laughs> kneel down and worship me. Oh, oh, that God? 10,000 likes on this video and you won't have a damnation in hell. Well, guys, you best get like in the video. God wouldn't lie. <laughs> There are four people now in the Vatican and I'm going to rearm! Yeah, nothing, nothing. There's still only four people here, but uh, is anyone angry? Oh, hello, it's me, a chef of my idea. What the, do you mean that the pop has taken over my ravioli kitchen? Oh no, it's attacks it. It, Italy exit, Italian alagu, la spaghetti exit, Sp spaghetti, spag exit, spaghetti exit. Why on earth the Italians would just let me move in and take all this land, I don't know. But I'm not really here to figure that out, I'm just here to invade Switzerland, really. Pope mobile, no my friend, I've got the Pope Destroyer! Although now I'm looking at it, it kind of just looks like a fishing boat. That, it's not just me that sees that, right? That is clearly just a fishing boat with no guns on it whatsoever. No? Okay, just me. A hot irony, you say. Well, look, I've got some Swiss guard that I'm going to go make invade Switzerland. <laughs> Uh, yes, Mr. Italian President, uh, the, the the Pope says he wants to take over, is that cool? Okay, yeah, that's cool, okay, uh, that's all I needed to know. Isn't it just ironic that the Swiss Guard is invading Switzerland? I can't, I'm so funny! Well, it's nice to see that things in Millennium Dawn haven't really changed in the, you know, five months I haven't played it. You can still just do this random fucking shit, get around their line, because they can't create troops, because the AI can't handle all those production lines and there's just way too much shit to fucking produce. Let's bring back this dead language. Why? No idea. No idea why we're doing it. Let's just... I think we should do it, you know? It'd be funny. Oh no, the September 11th attacks on the September 12th. Good on you, George Bush. There's just no consequences for invading people as the Pope, apparently. I can just do it all I want. There's no UN to stop me, apparently. Although, to be fair, they're probably still trying to decipher the Latin letters I'm sending them with declarations of war. So, yeah, I can't blame them. Well, that was a piece of papal piss, wasn't it? Oh. Well. Isn't that something? I, what are you trying to do, Germany? What's going 
am I, am I in Bizarro World? Yep, in Bizarro World because William Hague now controls the UK and he's building tanks for Britain. Why did we think this was a good idea? Meanwhile, over here in Nobody Cares What The Pope's Doing, I'm just invading countries because I can and there's nobody to stop me, apparently. But you know what? Sure. Why not? Send the Swiss Guard in. Let's just murder everyone. Is anyone going to pay attention to me yet? No? Okay, I just took out another country and we might as well get started on the next one. Since this is all about irony, wouldn't it be ironic if the Pope allowed birth control? God, isn't that funny? Oh yeah, sure, China giving Ethiopia some military assistance gets a lot of attention, but me taking out a few countries, no, nah, apparently- <laughs> God, guys, get this, what if I went <laughs> Islamic is the Pope! <laughs> More importantly, Croatia, I'm just invading you because world tension's just getting lower. They won't let me do anything. Holy moly, isn't this a goddamn tale of amazing irony? The Catholic leader of the world has gone Islamic. It's just so ironically funny. But anyway, after that's over, nothing in the game actually changes and we're just gonna keep continually killing people until eventually someone in the world realizes that, hey, why, why is the total number of countries going down? Oh no, we've lost Germany. We need to make up for it with Malta, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. I'm sure they'll, that'll keep us nice and strong. This won't come back to bite us at all. Speaking of nothing taking a goddamn bite, nobody cares that I'm invading everyone! Oh well, this video is gonna get demonetized. Well, this is really ironically funny, isn't it? Because look, the boats are coming from Europe this time. <laughs> and they're Islamic. <laughs> when in doubt, just throw like 50 divisions of Swiss Guard at them. That usually knocks them out. Oh, a nice Vatican City holiday for all four people that actually lived in the Vatican City. And we've just managed to enslave all of these Swiss people to fight in our army. It's just so good. I can't believe we managed to do it by turning Islamic. Meanwhile, over here in Nobody's Willing to Start World War 3, guess what? Nobody's willing to start World War 3. It's just, what's the point? What is my goal? Oh, yeah, of course, that's what I wanted. Lithuania and South Ossetia to join the faction. That's going to start World War 3, isn't it? Hopefully, this means that Romania might join a faction when I declare war on them now. Otherwise, I don't, I don't actually know what what's, they're not joining a faction. They're literally, they're not fucking kill me. The pain just never ends and I think we're just gonna be here for the rest of our lives, people. So buckle in! Buckle on in! Okay, this one's gonna get someone's attention. We're gonna take out Germany, who decided to leave their alliances, get out of Europe, and I think this is gonna work. They're 23% fascist. Oh, there's no way they're gonna turn fascist on that amount. Oh, uh, never mind. They, they turned fascist and, uh, yeah. We, we can't let them keep getting away with it, all right? They can't have three world wars all about them. Hey, I sorrow, play Millennium Dawn. There's no issues with it at all. It's not it's not a terrible experience all around. It's just a really good mod with really good division templates. And I've just walked into Berlin. Oh, nobody cared that the Islamic papal states took out the fucking fascist German Reich in the year 2006. So I... I'm just, who else, I'm gonna go fucking invade Russia then. Oh, well this, I wouldn't usually consider a problem, that's fine, but there is a kind of massive dangling piece of meat in front of the Japanese called the Republic of China that hasn't gone communist, so I, I think they might be getting ideas again. Well, if this doesn't get Putin's attention, I don't know what the fuck will. Pope Mobiles, go! Putin apparently didn't care. This does, this, this apparently wasn't a problem for him. He, he was like, yeah, sure, I'll let that happen. I don't see how that could come back to bite me at all. No. Well, we'll see if you can ignore this, Mr. Putin. Oh, finally! They're fucking nuking me. They're doing something. Come on, Putin, just nuke me another time. Oh, yeah, hurt me good, Daddy Putin. Oh, apparently it didn't hurt me good enough because once again in Millennium Dawn, no country has the ability to create mass units. So, so you, you can just overwhelm them with, like, a few infantry divisions and... Then you just walk to Vladivostok 
in every fucking game. Well, wasn't this a howdy doody little fun time in Russia? Well, wasn't that a fun video, guys? I think we all had a nice time. We had a few funny little gaffes, a few, few funny jokes here and there. I mean, the world doesn't give a shit about me going as an Islamic Pope, and I don't blame them, really, because there are bigger things to worry about in the world, such as, you know, Chechnya. Chechnya is the real bad guy here. Look, they invaded Russia and took it all over. I can't believe that. That's Jeremy Corbyn there. Well, let's hope that you enjoyed this as the Islamist Vatican City. Now, for me, it was really boring and there was no goal. But hey, guys, I hope you feel fulfilled by this video and you won't keep asking forever. And you'll have... What else can I do? What are you going to ask for next, guys, huh? Are you going to ask for Roblox? Please like the video if you want. 20, 20, 25,000 likes for Roblox. Yeah, well, I'm gonna become a Roblox channel. Fuck this.